Hi guys, today I just want to shoot a little video and I want to talk particularly about learning to live in the now and staying really present in the moment. Now when I personally have suffered times of depression, anxiety, um, experience loss or grief or any of these kind of deep emotions that we can go through, sometimes it has a really huge effect on our thoughts and our physical body because when we're thinking things continuously, it can cause our bodies to, I talk about it a lot, to really contract and it can be very uncomfortable when you can't kind of get your body to open up and it, you need to kind of work your way forward. So one of the biggest um, tips that I'll give you today is learning to live in the now. Now, it's a beautiful, um, warm winters, sunny winter's day here in Australia, and I've come outside just for 10 minutes with my dog, and he's just eating a bone over here, and I've just come out to enjoy listening to the birds, I'm looking around at the trees, there's a gorgeous blue sky, and I'm trying to really enjoy the simple things in this moment. So this is how I want you to start kind of helping yourself by starting to bring your thoughts back to the here and now. It doesn't matter where you're sitting. You might be sitting in your house in a quiet room. You might be at, at the beach. You might need to hear the waves. You know, everyone finds different things relaxing. You might go for a horse ride and that's a beautiful way of relaxing as well. Connecting with any animal is always great to lift your spirit. But when you're needing to heal your soul and you're needing to lift your spirit, it's really important that you look at the things that can actually help to uplift you inside. And it's by calming your mind that it helps in turn to calm your body as well. So just that beautiful warm sunlight, you know, you might enjoy listening to rain as well. There's so many things sensory experiences that you can open up your world to listening to the beautiful birds I'm here listening to the birds chirping in the trees you know that that really gets your mind off other things and smelling what's happening around you these are the ways that you can start to stop your life from that speedy mouse wheel that we all go through you know we get caught up with that momentum of life sometimes and things can happen you know very rapidly and sometimes it's very hard to slow down when you're caught up in that like I said the mouse wheel of life where you're sort of racing around it's really crucial that in times of despair um, depression anxiety fears any of these emotions that you learn to slow your life down now I've got many other videos that you can tap onto YouTube I've got many on depression um, how to move forward when you're stuck um, feeling suicidal any of these kind of emotions and I've got some tips and tricks on there about how to help yourself to move forward I have been through these things and I have experienced those feelings so I know how it feels when you're feeling really stuck so I'm just sharing with you of course it doesn't work for everybody but I'm sharing you some of the things that have worked for me and hopefully they will work for you and help you to move forward with your life so focus on the here and now get out in nature get out into the warm sunlight or the, the you know you might enjoy the snow go and sit out in the snow you know it doesn't matter what you're doing go to the beach do anything that's going to simplify your life and even if you do that for five to ten minutes on a regular basis that'll help to clear your mind of the clutter and slow down all these thoughts that are going on in your mind and that in turn starts to sort of relax and open up your body and allows you sort of space to allow things to come to you as well in life rather than staying very tight rigid and closed off to things which is what sometimes these um, emotions can do to us they can cripple us up and it's very hard for us to find a way clear to kind of move forward with our life so look I'm hoping some of these tips are helping you out there if you'd like to leave any comments on below rather that would be great and subscribe to my channel I've got many videos on there that can help you through these things so hit the like button and I will see you very soon bye